So now let's go to my computer and let's do the general overview of Clavio. In case you don't see the new Clavio's interface or you open Clavio for the first time. Or maybe you're using Clavio on a daily basis, but you missed some things which were added recently. So the first, when you log in to Clavio, you see the home screen. This is a great overview of how your business is doing. If you're a business owner and you want quickly check like, hey, am I making money from email marketing or not? You can go to this home screen and see how much campaigns making versus flows or email marketing overall. If you scroll down, there's two sections. First section is a flows, top performing flows, how many uh, emails you deliver per each flows and how much it generated. Also, there's important metric called revenue per recipient. Why it's important? Because sometimes your traffic on a website might drop and your revenue for entire flow might drop as well. But if the revenue per recipient stays the same, it means your flow performs as is. The problem is in the traffic. So if you scroll down, there is a section about campaigns, the latest campaign you send, and how much money it brought to your business. Next, let's go to campaigns on the left side. And on the top, this is a new feature in Clavia, and I personally do love it because it gives you the overall view of how your campaigns in general perform. What is the open rate, click rate, placed order, uh, revenue per recipient. And as you can see in this account, the open rate, average open rate is amazing, but click rate, place order, and revenue per recipient is poor. And it's poor in comparison to other businesses in the same industry, according to the benchmark. If you scroll down, you will see the status of each of your campaign, something that you just schedule, something in a draft mode, or something that already sent, and you are able to see the performance of it, the open rate, click rate, and the revenue. So the next section, my favorite, is flows. It's automated emails. Here you can see the list of your flows that you're working on, flows that you're testing, or flows which are live. Clavio have a review features, but it's additional cost and it will not be part of this course. So the next thing, sign up forms. The beauty of Clavio, sign up forms are included in all of their packages. You don't have to pay anything extra and you are able to create pop-up forms, embedded forms, fly-in forms, different kind of banners to convert your web visitors into email subscribers. It's very easy to use and they have very good analytics. So you can click on uh, any forms you have here and see how does it performs. So under audience, you have uh, your lists and segments. Uh, so lists is something static where you adding people and segments. This is also another powerful feature in Clavio where you are able to create any segments you want and you are able to target them through campaigns or automations. Under content section, you have templates, product, image, brands, and coupons, where you are able to create your standard templates that you use for your campaigns. You can have a product feeds, which pulling are from your Shopify or WooCommerce, and the dynamic coupons you are able to create directly in Clavio. In the last few years, Clavio invested a lot in analytics. So here under analytics, you can see that they have like dashboard, experiment, metrics, benchmark. We'll cover this in the future modules in details. Just want to give you the quick overview that it, it exists. It's very powerful tools for you to understand how your email marketing is performing. 